But here we are with another edition of Bantam Small Talk TV, newly sponsored by Build and Timber. So the first thing that I need to do is thank Build and Timber for this fantastic new sponsor. Today we're interviewing the famous award-winning Bantam's Banter, Tom and Dom. How are you doing, lads? Good, good, thanks, Nick. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, and yourself? Really good. What do, what do Build and Timber sell? They're doing more than just good wood. <laughs> that is the best slogan, isn't it? More than just good wood. <laughs> so I'd just like to give a quick mention to both Paul Bilden and Chris Morrell. Thank you very much. So first, my first question is, guys, what's your prediction for today's match? I think... I think we're going to see Bradford City win convincingly. I think we've been waiting for it for a while. We're in, we're in decent form. I know we drew against Charlton and the second half was terrible, but we're just waiting for it to click. And we've probably been saying that for three quarters of the season, but I think, you know, 2-0 today. And yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going with Dom. I reckon Swindon might get one, though, so I'm, I'm going to go 2-1, a bit of a, ner a nervy 2-1, and we'll get a, we'll a last-five-minute winner, I imagine. I'm going to go for my favourite score, which I'm at for Edge 3-1 to say. Famous. Three one. Score. Uh, so my first real question to you is: obviously, you've been together quite a few years now. <laughs> what? Um, no, we're not married. <laughs> how long have you been banter's banter? What gave you the name banter's banter? Well, back in the day, Nick, banter wasn't used as common. It wasn't as commonly used as it is now, and it was like an old-fashioned word, like when you ban like your granddads used to banter with their friends. And we took it on board, thinking, oh, it's quite an obscure word. It sounds different. And now it just sounds like we're following the crowd, doesn't it? Yeah, that's because, that's because about a year later, Joey Essex entered the scene and started saying, Bainter, Bainter, innit? Bainter. We, 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 we started it. We I mean, Joey Essex was a massive fan. And he said, do you mind if I start using the word banter? And we said, whatever. Yeah, and my second question, Adam, um, last year um, I managed to get one of your banter, banter hats for Christmas. I was just wondering if you can possibly give me some why there were no Christmas jumpers last year. Right, yeah, there was an issue with the supplier last year, and I'll be honest, he screwed us over. <laughs> Got absolutely screwed over by a supplier. Uh, but this year, we're going to bring them back because they were really popular and they're so different. And, you know, and, and, the, and everyone knows the issues with the shop. And just enable people to buy them is, you know, it's a big thing. So, yeah, we're going to bring it back this year. Hopefully, bigger and better than before. That's fantastic. Do you know what this feels like? Because the music's so loud, it feels like when you're trying to talk to your mates in a nightclub. Do you want a beer? Hey, yeah, well, get some shots in there, get some, get some shots in. Hey, what were you dressed as last night? I was dressed as a leprechaun. That's stereo, you're not allowed to do that. Stereotypical. No, what he's there. doing is he's making use of his size. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true, true, yeah. yeah. And he, he, like, I, I dress. Did you get any... The microphone to my mouth. <laughs> Did you get any kisses? Because people like to kiss leprechauns. I got a few kisses and a few cuddles and a bit of something else. Bloody hell, what? <laughs> Nick! <laughs> I dress as the boulder from Indiana Jones. Because I'm a big guy. And I dress as Indiana Jones. Yeah. And, and Dom chased me down the street. <laughs> no, other way around. Oh, sorry. Indiana Jones doesn't chase the boulder. <laughs> now, obviously, lads, um, you know that I play for Bradford Disability FC. Of course we do. What do you think about them? And if you. I've got your poster if, on my wall. If you had to choose like your top players, who would you pick? Obviously, not me, because like Liam Midgley, Matthew Hemingway. Matt and Steve, uh, Stephen. Stephen. Stephen's a brilliant player. Liam's good. The thing, the thing about Stephen is, you know, ob obviously he's got short arms, he's, he's deaf, and I guess kind of you assume, oh, he's not going to be good. He's not going to be a good footballer. We watched him, it was absolutely unbelievable. His skill, his balance, um, his teamwork is absolutely spot on, just like you and just like Liam. But we, uh, I think we came to watch you play a tournament. In fact, we, we managed you at a tournament in Harrogate. And it was quality. The, the level of football was far beyond what we expected. Yeah, because uh, I don't know, you, you know, we played last Sunday, but uh, I had my first league action of the season. And I just want to congratulate my team. We won every single game. So well done, lads. How many did you score? Unfortunately, I didn't get any, but I managed to, I managed to assist about two goals. So nice, Matt Marshall. I, I took a corner, directed my teammate, straight in the net. So. Well done, well done. Well what, position do you, what position do you play? Uh, I play centre forward, but I do like to get back and run with the ball. So, a good dribbler. I, although, I, I, you know, that centre forward for Bradford Disability, Nick Kitchen. I don't think he's scoring enough. In fact, I think it might be time for him to move on. I don't know. I, I think Chef United are interested. I know. Would you move to another? If there was money on the table, would you move to another disability? Club? No. Uh, my dream is to play for this club. So, oh, good I used well, what to. What about Arsenal and Barcelona? Yeah. I admit, I admit, them, but Bradford are my number one. Uh, basically, I used to hate football as a kid, as some of you might, might know. I hated it, and that stopped me developing. 
So they, to play for me, they have to say the next best thing. But don't you think this is why football's so special, why football stands out from anything else? It brings people together. No matter what your ability, no matter what your background, your ethnicity, anything, it brings you together. It does it. Exactly. We are the Bantam's family. It brings you together and you can play football together no matter what level you are, no matter what capability you are. Exactly. Just have a go. Be there on the... You know, be there on the playing field, the level, the level playing field. Level playing field, I like it. So, have you got any more questions for us? Uh, yeah, obviously. Um, I don't know whether you want to. There's an AGM in a couple of weeks. So I am the, I'm the new vice chair of the Bradford City Disabled oh, Supporters. Right, yeah. So I don't know if you're able to come along. Well, that would be good actually, because we do owe you something, which I'll tell you, I'll tell you off camera. So it would be good to present it at, at the AGM. And hopefully one day I'd like to come along to. Are you interested in coming and watching BDFC train? Yeah, we could, maybe we could do a podcast. Yeah, you can do a podcast from there. Uh, I'm just so basically, how long have you been Bradford fan before you were known as Bantam's Banter? Well, we, well, don't okay. spoil Leeds here for you. Get out of town. <laughs> do, do you know? I mean, I guess my dad's not really into sports, so it's my uncle that brought me to his first game. Uh, to my first game, I was in the cup there, sat on the bars. I can remember feeling the cold bars on my ass. Got piles at the age of seven. <laughs> but no, yeah. So I was, I was about. I think I was six when I came to our first game, and I, I can't remember who we were playing. They definitely wore white, so it could have been Preston maybe or someone like that. Anyway, Port Vale, I don't know. So, so since then I've been coming, but I used to get all hand-me-down shirts from my cousins and stuff like that, so I've been a Bradford City fan for as long as I can remember, as long as I've been kicking a footy around in the garden. And yourself? I remember, yeah, I was a similar age, maybe a bit older, seven or eight, and I remember getting cop, and so I used to get on the floor and pick all the little ticker tape up, and gather it all up, and as yeah. we were doing that, someone spilled the hot coffee down the back of my neck, and that was my first ever game. I got basically got scolded on the back of my neck, and then I used to get all the ticket take and then throw it at half time when they come back out. So I was probably a similar age. I can't. I know I didn't watch the games. So I got to do we were playing. I think I was like playing my ticket take on floor for a full 90 minutes. Also, my dad was like going for it. So yeah, it was it was many years ago, probably like 1992 or something like that. And uh, just a couple more questions. A lot of fans are saying that this year's kit, home kit, is the best one in the year. What do you think this year's kit, personal? Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's sublime, but also the, the, the away kit and the third kit with the sash. So clever, and, and, and we only got that freedom once we kind of stepped away from Nike, so it was kind of a good move that. Because a lot of people were saying, oh, Abex's not as good, but it's turned out to be amazing, and, the, and the, I think they sold unprecedented figures, so. And apparently, Abex are doing next year's kit as well, yeah, so. Yeah. It's not it's not quite as good as this kit though, is it? I'd love to see him remake this Beamer, with a, that, in a modern a modern fit. Yeah, a Beaver's going business. Hey, have you seen what I've got on the back? McCall, number four. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> yeah, these chairs flip back. So basically, I've just got one more question. I've got to mention Paul Job and Jamie Garwood Shaw. Yeah. Who, if it weren't for them, I won't be where I am now. Is there any, any kind of special message or anything you want to say about them? Those two are legends. We've met them many, many times over the years. And the absolute, the work they put in and the effort they put in, but not only that, the ideas they have. Jamie's full of ideas. And that is key with running something like this. Always about fundraising and different initiatives and even if it was a coaching. And Paul as well. Paul's won so many awards. Do you know what we like most about, about Bradford Disability and about Jamie and Paul is that they've seen that... You know, opportunities in football probably weren't there for, for disabled supporters, for disabled players. And they've, dis they've taken it upon themselves to give those opportunities to disabled players at Bradford City, to open opportunities, to go on trips, to play matches, to play in tournaments, home and away. That, that's something that ten, 10 years ago, maybe less than 10 years ago, wouldn't have been possible for a, dis a disabled fan. I mean, all that was around for disabled fans then was, you know, you could get your wheelchair in to sit in, in a stadium. Now there's so much available to you. Probably, probably the same amount of um, opportunities available to a disabled fan as there are to a, to a regular fan. Not that disability fans uh, are <laughs> regular. <laughs> uh, I'm basically, my final thing, I want to push this uh, Team 20 thing. Yeah. So I don't know whether you guys know the, the song, um, Nothing's Gonna Stop Us. Nothing's gonna stop us. Quick. Stop, and stop, we stop can build. No, you know, nothing's yeah. gonna stop us. Nothing's gonna, gonna stop, stop us now. Basically, I've made my own uh, version up for. Ignore my voice because I can't sing, but I've made my own version up for the Team 20 promotion. Okay, okay, okay. Let's hear it. So it's gonna go. Nothing's gonna stop us. Nothing's gonna stop us. Nothing's gonna stop us now. We build our team together. I'm a Bradford City fan forever. Nothing's gonna stop us now. So, 
We will sell plenty if you all support Team 20. Nothing's going to stop us now. So we'll all give it our all for our hero shoot McCall. Nothing's going to stop us now. We can build our thing together. I'm a Bradford City fan forever. Nothing's going to stop us now. Brilliant. So that's basically it, guys. Thanks for having an interview. Absolutely. Pleasure. Cheers, guys. So that's another edition of Banter Small Talk, sponsored by Bailden Timber. More than just good wood, lad. <laughs> the best slogan ever. <laughs> More than just good wood.